Recording I am. I. So this is a mini lathe. That I got in around, I believe, 2000 for Busy Bee Machine Tools. There's no plastic on it, really, except this is plastic. The only plastic thing is this. It's got these control knobs. The electronics in it are long gone. And what I use is a Variac. And drive it that way and it runs has been running for all those years no problems with bearings or anything else and uh, wow that's your typical mini lathe that's anything on top here it's kind of worn down over the years now protective eye stuff uh, so this model going way back no aluminium all cast iron and how it works well that's how i run it and i have this down here so when i do is turn it on Nice curls. <laughs> Very happy with it. And I have really big pieces in here too, up to two inches. Look like at that. A little tiny lathe like that. Look at that. What is that, a sixteenth of an inch? Roughly that. Nice little curl. It takes bigger curls too if I really press the issue, but don't want to do that, so. Well, that's the original mini lathe. It did have plastic handles. I replaced them with cast iron handles, as you can see, and made a steady rest for it as well. So all in all, and this is how I drive it. The electronics burned out a long time ago. But this has got option of uh, variable voltage, being a variac. AC as well as DC. I have a bridge rectifier in there, so it works perfect. So, there you have it. Really happy with that fellow, and I'm making a bushing for this piece of brass down here. So, that's the story on that. I got one of these attachments for it as well. So as you notice, the mini lays these days are mostly plastic and electronic junk. Electronic garbage, so anyway. This thing I've used quite a bit. Many different projects. Really handy little thing. Busy bee machine tools. Oh, wow.